What is up, everybody? Yeah, new little setup. Actually kicking a little old school. Camera's a little further away. I don't know how long this is going to last. Figured uh, why not show off some of the new Ripperverse rip art, excuse me. And um, why not? Yeah, kick it old school a little bit. But today we're going to be discussing this little video here. And, well, it's not a video. They did do a video there. I guess they talked about it. But I want to really talk about the company itself. Now, just when I think that this damn thing can't get any lower, there's new reports of a brand new floor. You remember uh, earlier last month, they were like, hey, it can't get any lower. It's going to start to even out. And then it didn't happen. So here we are. I'm covering this from the Outkick. The latest Bud Light sales number uh, numbers of bloodbath for the beer company. Bud Light has been under constant pressure. You know this about the Dylan Mulvaney situation. With the 4th of July uh, here and people getting ready to grill out and the drink, excuse me, and drink ice cold brews, gotcha, for America's birthday. The once popular light beer brand, Nineheiser Bush, might have been holding out hope for the situation to turn around. Simply didn't happen. Sales are down 27.9% for the week that ended June 24th, according to data. Uh, from the Bump Williams Consulting via New York Post, that's just barely, that's just barely better than a 28.5 percent decline from the previous week. However, the numbers, the numbers only getting worse. The more you dig into them, units sold uh, dropped a shocking 31.3 percent compared to the time window last year. Just like the previous day, the Bud Light is hardly the only Anheuser Busch Brown struggling. Michelob Ultra, and this is, I guess, the important part to take from it because you gotta understand. Maybe people aren't smart enough to understand it. Well, Anheuser Busch still owns a bunch of other beer companies. So if you truly want to withhold your money or withhold your funds from, uh, let's say, giving it to this company that funds Bud Light, then you're gonna have to not fund other people. Still, there's plenty of beer out there. If you are a guy that's in alcohol, I'm not. But if that's your thing, I'm willing to bet there's other stuff uh, up, up your alley. Michelob Ultra, though, is down 4.4%. But Wiser is down 12%. Meanwhile, Modelo units increased 6.4%. According to the day that the Mexican beer has been the top selling beer in America since May. They used to be Bud Light. That was recently overtaken by, of course, um, Modelo. And as the Bush market cap has also dropped, staggering 27 point, excuse me, 27 billion. This is the crisis caused by Dylan Mulvaney ad started, and that's according to the New York Post. The projections look bleak. Bump Williams Consulting VP Dave Williams told the New York Post, unless something dynamic happens to bring the lapsed Bud Light customers back into the fold, I don't think we can expect anything to reverse course, and, which is a little bit different from the language before. It was like, hey, you know, it's got to level out so, sort of. This is only going to be uh, a little more, like say, temporary. The worst is already hit, but it doesn't seem that that's the case. There it can be a new floor for sure. And they don't, I don't think they're going to, I got some inside information actually talking to um, someone a few weeks ago about this, this plan that they have a bud light in terms of an ad. And um, they're throwing out all the stops. Think this is going to be the final Hail Mary for this company. It's not going to work, but they're going to give it a shot um, to try to reverse course I think it, it does have an easy resolution, but when your company, along with others, have been infiltrated by the die diversity, inclusion, and, and exclusivity, or whatever, whatever it's called. Oh, uh, what, what's the E stand for? It's in, inclusivity, and I said exclusivity, which is generally what it is. Uh, but more accurately putting it is, I don't know. What is it? Equity. That's what it is. Stupid. Anyway. Yeah, they they'd much rather just keep this thing getting burned to the ground and try to reverse courses without saying that they did something wrong. Um, the easy thing would be to say, all right, yeah, we we jacked that up. We pushed away our core customer base to try to appeal to a bunch of weirdos, and uh, it didn't work. Um, and uh, that was stupid of us. Which that doesn't mean you're gonna get back to being the number one beer in America. I don't think you. I think those days are behind you. But you can at least salvage something. Um, they are not going to do that. So this is what you're going to keep getting is epic failures. This is impressive. It is impressive looking at what this company is going to continue to do and uh, seeing what the new floor is going to be because just when you think that it can't get worse, it absolutely does.
If you like this video and want to get into a new comic book universe, visit Ripperverse.com. Our first campaign for I Sum 1 hit $3.7 million, and the pre-order campaign for I Sum 2 is currently live. So go check it out and watch the official launch trailer, which is the first animation of Ripperverse Studios.